gonna do the grapefruit basil martini. It's honestly a really, really simple recipe. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get started on the recipe. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut up our grapefruit. So one of the reasons I wanted to do this, and I'm kind of stoked about this, is kind of reminds me of the starts of WCA. So I started WCA on, well, to say a shoestring, I think would be generous. Um, my wife and I had just had a baby and uh, we had a house and I wanted to start this company and my wife's deal was we have about $150 you can use and you need to keep your job until you can replace your salary. That was kind of the deal. So that's how things went for the first couple of years and about two years into starting the business we had about 10 employees and for the holidays we wanted to do a party. So one of my mentors and one of the best people I ever met and really helped me get the business off the ground was a gentleman by the name of Dr. Stanley Cowan and he would let us have these parties at his house for holidays. And we would provide dinner, but I really didn't have any funds to do anything else, so I did what I liked doing, which was make cocktails for everybody and their significant others. So what was cool about that is I got to sit at the bar and, and talk to people and get to know these people who were crazy enough to work with me. And I really look back at those days being sort of foundational in how the company was built. So we're going to put in about four leaves of basil, one and a half ounces of simple syrup. So once we have that in there, what we're going to do is we're going to actually muddle this. So muddling, you can use this, you can use a spoon. Uh, if you don't really want to muddle, you can cut it up but I don't like the little pieces that tend to get through the strain, so you just muddle, and muddle is just crushing it. It kind of releases the flavor of the basil and gives you just a, a little bit more of that aroma that comes out. Now once that's set, I'm gonna put this back over here, and we're gonna give ourselves three ounces. Let's see if I did this right. I may be close. So there's one, two, and three, and some more. And then I'm going to actually do the vodka. So, any vodka you like, I actually like Grey Goose a lot. Um, Tito's is fantastic. It has a great flavor when it's cold. Uh, main reason this is my favorite cocktail is because it's my wife's favorite cocktail. And whatever makes my wife happy, makes me happy. We're gonna do a couple other things here. So we're gonna do just a squeeze of lime. And the reason is I like the crispness that comes from that. I think it just adds a little bit. You don't have to, but I tend to prefer it. And then we're gonna do something kind of fun. It's a little goofy, but I like it. We're actually gonna use an egg white, just single egg white. And the reason behind this is it gives this really cool texture, this really nice look to it when it's done. And uh, it really makes it smooth and silky. But there is a secret to this. And the secret is for it to come out really frothy. You do what's called a dry shake. That's the secret. So the dry shake just gets everything kind of set to go. So long before you put in the ice, everything's kind of mixed up. And that really makes a big difference. So now we're gonna crack that back and we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of ice. All right. All right, so then shake it. All right, so that should be good. I have two that are gonna be martinis. I've got one that we actually have on the rocks. And I actually like those great big ice cubes because I think they're kind of cool. So we're going to do one more shake on this. Let's see what we ended up with. All right. Okay. Thanks for uh, putting up with this uh, and going through my 
ADD mess of a cocktail, um, but I just can't tell you how much I appreciate you being involved in, in supporting our company and being part of it. So, to you, cheers. Ah, oh, damn, that's pretty good. Thank you.